homeschooling students and families. I hope you had a great weekend and ready for another fantastic week. But this is a different week because we only have school four days. We have school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's no school on Friday. Then you have the weekend. Then on Monday, there's no school on Monday either because we have parent-teacher conferences. So this is an unusual week. So let's learn a lot in the four days that we're here because hopefully you might get to come back to school sometime soon. And we want you so ready for your next level of grade because if you're a kindergartner, you'll be ready for first grade. First, ready for second and so on. And our fifth graders, you'll be headed on to middle school. So we still have a lot of learning to do. So when you're in class every day, don't get under the covers, don't get on YouTube pay attention, listen to your teachers, because they really want you well prepared for your next grade level. And look at this, Mr. Kane. We ran off the board all the way across. There are so many students who are doing a fantastic job. I'm so excited about this. And this is the most, this might be the most we've ever had. Isn't this fantastic? This just tells you what a great job Crumbs Lane students can do. You want to start on that end and oh, tell yeah. me when you get tired and I'll take over. Definitely, definitely. I'm very excited. Okay, we got Jayali from uh, Mr. Lazaro's class. Jayali scored 100% on her first social studies, 15 by 15. Well done, okay? We got Bryson Barker right here. And, well, okay, we got Bryson Barker uh, from Miss uh, Dickey, uh, encouraging his classmates during uh, math class. And we also have Aiden from Miss Dickey uh, coming to small groups and working hard to complete independent assignments. We got Zion from Miss Dickey completing over 12 lessons in Dreambox in one week. That is fantastic. We got Jaden from Miss Dickey uh, completing over 60 minutes in Dreambox. Jaden uses his independent time wisely to practice his math facts. Mackenzie from Miss Gettlefinger. Mackenzie shows personal responsibility by coming on time to class every day. We got Jay Ali again from Miss Jameson being ready to be successful. Jay Ali is setting a great example for others in her group. She continues to be active in class conversations. Way to go. We got Rowley from Miss Johnson's class as being responsible and being ready to be successful. Rowley has earned all O's in both reading and math. Way to go, Rowley. I love that. We got Michael right here, Miss Johnson's class being responsible, being ready to be successful. Michael also has earned all O's in both reading and math. Way to go, Michael. We got Aisha. Uh, from Miss Jamison's class, being ready to be successful. Great job attending all of your live classes this week. We have John from Mr. Lazaro. John always contributes positively, intelligently, and appropriately during social studies. We got Mahogany. Mahogany's participation has skyrocketed in math. She is always willing to do extra work to master our objectives. TJ from Miss Barian's class, completing his assignments and computer work this week. Good job, TJ. We got Kayla from Mr. Lazaro. Kayla scored 100% on her first social studies 15 by 15. Well done. Mohammed from Ms. Johnson's class, being responsible, being ready to be successful. Mohammed is reading on a level N and is now reading chapter books. Way to go, Mohammed. We got Noah from Mr. Lazaro's class. Noah scored 100% on his first social studies, 15 by 15. Well done. We got Alan from Mr. Lazaro's class. Alan scored 90% on the first social studies, 15 by 15. Great job, Alan. Let's go down here to uh, in Ms. Berrien's class. We got Angel, and she is uh, getting recognized for encouraging and helping her classmates during the Google Meet. That's great to hear. We got Brianna right here in Miss Barian's class, Miss Barian's class, participating and always being ready for class. That is great. Kyrisha, uh, Mr. Lazaro, and Miss Jameson. Kyrisha scored 80% on the first social studies, 15 by 15. Nice job. She's consistent, consistent participation in reading class and discussions. That's great. We got Jamira from Mr. Lazaro. Jamira scored 90% on her first social studies 15 by 15. Great job. Wayne is being recognized by Mr. Lazaro. Wayne scored 90% on the first social studies 15 by 15 review. Great job, Wayne. 
We got Kennedy being recognized by Mr. Lazaro. Kennedy scored an 80% on her first social studies, 15 by 15. Great job. Let's shoot down here to Naomi. All right, Naomi uh, from Miss Berrien's class, stepping up this week and participating in class and completing her computer work. Great job. We got Alejandro, uh, let's see, from Miss Barnes' class, working hard this week in math. You're paying attention, working hard, and doing an amazing job of explaining your thinking and answers. Way to go. We got a Chance right here. Chance is being recognized by both Miss Connor and Miss Jameson, completing 35 Dreambox lessons in a week. Amazing. Completing 83 minutes and five units in Lexia. Totally awesome. We got Jovan right here in Miss Connor's class, completing 16 Dreambox lessons in a week. Great job. Okay, we have Aisha again from Miss Connor, completing 18 Dreambox lessons in a week. Let's shoot down here to um, T. Anthony. T. Anthony's in Miss Barnes's class, getting all of assignments completed. He's shown a lot of responsibility by asking questions when he's unsure and staying accountable. That is great to hear. Let's go to Danilo in Mrs. Hawkins' class, being a responsible student. Danilo is on time every day for Google Meets and is prepared to learn. Let's go to uh, Eliana from Miss Connor's class, completing 18 Dreambox lessons in a week. Great job, great job. And then let's do uh, Robert Roeder from uh, Miss Connor and Miss Jameson, coming to math class consistently and participating. Robert has gained 20 units while working 91 minutes in Lexia. Great job. We got Carl being recognized by Miss Connor, completing nine lessons of Dreambox in a week. Great job, Carl. And we got Araceli from Mr. Carter's class, coming to class every day, ready to learn and working hard. Great to hear. Congratulations, Asia White. Miss Connor says you've completed eight lessons of Dreambox in a week. Fantastic. Taj, Miss Connor says you completed 10 lessons in Dreambox this week. Liberty, Mr. Carter says you're coming to class every day, ready to learn and leveling up in Lexia. Fantastic. Christopher Shumwell, Mr. Carter says you're coming to class, ready to learn and working hard on sight words. Jada, right here, Mr. Carter says you're remembering your sight words and working hard. Rastivia, Ms. Connor says you completed nine lessons of Dreambox in a week. You all are doing a fantastic job. Kayla, Ms. Connor says that you completed 12 lessons of Dreambox in a week. And Lily, Ms. Connor's recognizing you for completing 15 lessons of Dreambox in a week. Kamaya, Ms. Connor's got you up here for doing 14 lessons of Dreambox this week. Austin, Ms. Quisenberry says you're improving on your 15 by 15 science review quiz last week. Way to go. Bryson, Ms. Quisenberry says that you're participating in class and you're being ready to learn. You also had great improvement on your 15 by 15 science. Great job. Amaya, look at you. Ms. Quisenberry says you're participating in class and you're ready to learn. Amaya also had great improvement on the 15 by 15 science review last week. Let's come up here, Jose, look at you. Ms. Connor says that you completed 13 lessons in, of Dreambox in a week. And up here, Sage. Mr. Hackle says Sage does a great job of sharing in small groups. He is getting better at identifying how he feels. Samaya, Ms. Cook says you're attending all of your Google Meets and completing your assignments with a positive attitude. Keep up the great work. John, down here, Miss Connor says you did nine lessons of Dreambox in a week. Way to go, everybody. Raquel, look at you. Miss Quisenberry says that you're improving on the 15 by 15 science review. Great job. Braden, Miss Mathis says that you're completing your assignments and attending all of your small groups. Way to go. Raylan, look at you. Miss Mathis says you're completing all of your Google Forms and Jamboards this week. Amazing work. Jaden, Ms. Connor says that you did nine lessons of Dreambox this week. Way to go. Kendall, Ms. Mathis says you've completed all of your Google Forms and Jamboards this week, and you're having a positive attitude during meets. Way to go. Cherish, look at you. Ms. Dickey says that you've persevered through the fractions and multiplication. You offer strategies to help your peers succeed. Way to go, everybody. Fantastic. 
I tell you, Mr. Kane, they're doing an awesome, awesome job. Boys and girls, these can all go in your backpacks. These can all be things that we save and say, look at what a fantastic job Crumbs Line students are doing. And your teachers next year are gonna to wanna to see what you did also, because this makes a big difference. These are hard to earn, and your hard work is recognized. Mr. Kane, why don't we go down and look at the Lexia board and see who was working hard on that also. Oh, I'm definitely excited to do that. Let's, let's go. All right, Crumbs Lane, we are with our Lexia superstars, and I am so excited to read off these, uh, these, these young scholars. All right, we have Jermaine Livingstone. He's a Lexia superstar, okay, working on reversible letters, silent E recognition, uh, contractions, picture word match, and sentence comprehension. We have Kingston right here with uh, vocabulary strategies, fluent reading, academic vocabulary, uh, grammar uh, concepts and text connections. All right. Now we have Jerula right here. She's a Lexia superstar. Advanced word chains, multi-syllable words, simple suffixes, sight words, and building sentences. And then we have Lavelle, Lexia superstar, ending sounds, short vowel sounds, beginning sounds and letters, combining adjectives and sequencing. Okay. And then I'll do uh, Danny right here. He's a Lexia superstar with vowel combinations, R control vowels, sight words, categorizing words, and uh, sequencing sentences. So, Ms. Bird. All right, here we have Mohammed. Mohammed, my friend, look at you. Look at all the ending sounds, short vowel sounds, beginning sounds, combining and sequencing. Way to go, Mohammed. Here we have Bryson Abron, and Bryson's working on vowel combinations, R control vowels, sight words. Um, categorizing and sequencing, way to go. Devante, here you are doing ending sounds, short vowels, beginning sounds, combining adjectives and sequencing, wow. Here we go to Camry, look at you with ending sounds, short vowel sounds, beginning sounds, combining adjectives and sequencing too. And Micaiah, look at you with rhyming, letter matching categories, nursery rhymes and print sound tips. Wow, you all are learning so much. You're doing a fantastic job. And you know what, Mr. Kane? This is February, our special month. We hope everybody's doing lots of reading every day and filling it out in the reading log because you know what? We have those $50 gift certificates. Wow. That is I fantastic. know. Think of what $50. You can do a lot with $50, boys and girls. So, our star readers for the whole school, there'll be children at every grade level winning $50 gift cards. And the TikTok talent show, Mr. Kane. Can't wait for that. Definitely, That's, definitely. And you can win $50 gift cards for that, too. So, tune into your family literacy nights if you haven't gotten to attend that yet. Miss Lassiter was giving away some fantastic prizes at the family literacy night last Thursday night with Mr. Kane. Right. So, this awesome Thursday, stuff. we got it coming up. We're going to be doing it again, so right. stay tuned, especially if it's your week coming. So, remember, read for the readathon. Okay, what are we doing for the talent show? TikTok talent show. All right, I can't wait to see what Mr. Kane right. does for the TikTok talent show, gonna be fun. So be sure you're doing all these cool for extra things, boys and girls, and be sure you're learning in class because we need you ready for your next grade level. So have a great week, remember only four days, so work extra hard each and every day. Be respectful, be responsible, and be ready to be successful. Great job, Crumbs Lane.